Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, where we had this interesting contraption where we could measure directly the coefficient of volume expansion for any liquid, irregardless what container it's in, we made the assumption that the change in the density is equal to the negative of that coefficient of volume expansion times the original density times the change in the temperature. But now let's try to prove that equation. In order to do so, we need to start with our two basic equations where the new volume equals the original volume plus the volume expansion coefficient times the original volume times the change in the temperature and that the density is equal to the ratio of the mass over the volume. So what we're going to do first is take our left equation and what we can see then is that the change in the volume is expressed by this portion of it. So we can say that the change in the volume is equal to the density coefficient times the density volume coefficient times the original volume times delta t. And then if we write that equation in differential form, we can say that the change in the volume dv is equal to the expansion coefficient times the volume times dt. Now on the right side, why don't we take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to the volume. So the change in the density with respect to the volume is equal to, now that's a quotient, so we take the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, since the mass is a constant, derivative of the constant is zero, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is dv dv, all divided by the denominator squared. Now, of course, dv dv is equal to one, so we can see that the change in the density with respect to the volume is equal to the negative mass over the volume squared, or if I multiply both sides by dv, I can see that the change in the density is equal to minus m over v squared times dv. Now, notice I have an expression for dv, so I can go ahead and plug that in here. That means that the change in the density the density is equal to minus the mass over v squared times dv, which is equal to the, oh, there I go again with my beta. Okay, so beta times original volume times the change in the temperature. All right, now, notice, hmm, that if I multiply and divide by mass, if I make this mass squared and divide this by mass, V over M, okay, so we can say, make that mass squared and make that divided by mass, then this would be the original density in reverse, that would be the inverse original density, so I could say that the change of the density is equal to minus M squared over V squared, times beta times the original density in reverse, that would be one over density times dt, and then finally this, m squared over v squared, that's density squared, so I can say that the change of the density is minus density squared times beta times one over density times dt, and finally simplifying that, I can see that the equation, the change in the density, and hmm, let me write that a little bit better, let me go over here, so it's, I have a little bit more room. So D density is equal to, that cancels out, so I have minus uh, beta times the density times dt. And this is our equation that we were looking for. And sure enough, we can make that the original density if we like, because we used the original volume. And so this is our original volume again. So that means it's original density. And that will then be the equation that we're looking for. You can see that this is written as changes in temperature and changes in density. This is written as a differential equation, but essentially it's the same thing. And that is where that came from. 